So they've gotten the first piece in here. I'm low-key upset that it's upside down, but this is the first piece so far. Hey guys, okay, so the mover is just finished. I think you guys saw some of the clips in there. I had to move my camera because I didn't want them to like think I was like stalking them. Um, <laughs> so the couch actually sits perfectly where I want it to sit, um, but I need to like move some stuff around. But you can see what it looks like now. I'm just gonna, they, I haven't sat on it, I haven't even touched it really, but this is it put together. <laughs> Big reveal. I know it looks kind of small on camera, but it fits three comfortably, specifically in the space that I have it. So I'm going to move this over a little bit more, push it closer to the wall, have my plant possibly maybe to the front, maybe not the back side of it. But I might have like an end table behind it <laughs> so people could put their stuff behind it. But look how thick the borders are. Oh, this feels amazingly soft. It is beautiful. Like I'm here for it. These are my first moments right now. Finally, in my place. This is cozy, cozy, cozy. Ah, uh, the joy that we're about to have on this thing. So this is my living room so far coming together. Neutral tones. I think I'm definitely gonna go with the gray, for sure. I think I really am, but it looks cute. That's my baby. Finally, something that I like, <laughs> that I can sit on and enjoy. Um, but it latched at the bottom. And I think I was explaining before, like, the, the latch is right there, so it's kind of connected. So everything, if I move it, it's going to move together like that. So pretty cute. And again, this is a, this is the kind of couch, if I want to keep it long term, of course, I can add pieces to extend it and make it even a sectional if I want to. But right now, it can sit three just fine. Two comfortably, of course. But I'm going to get another seat for most likely the corner right there in my rug, but this will be pushed back. Right now it's not pushed to the wall because they didn't want to mark up anything, but I'm gonna push it a little bit further. So yeah, that's my internet stuff, by the way. <laughs> Put this plant right now i think i might put it back in the corner over here um but it was just an idea now i can measure the floor for the rug to come i might just scoot the the couch over again but it feels good to have it here and it's so comfortable it's super super comfortable I'm just making it home from work and i got my rug is officially here um i opted for the gray color now I have to like rush because I have to make it to Trap Zumba tonight with Amber, but this is my rug. It's an eight by 10. And I'm gonna try to put it down tonight um, after my little workout class is over. It looks like it's gonna be pretty good. Um, the fact that it is gonna be eight by 10, I think it's gonna fit perfectly for the living room floor right over here so exciting good morning beautiful people so i am now in my apartment early morning um i actually took the day off work uh there's so much to talk about but uh first things first we're in my apartment as you can see i actually emptied out my living room area which you guys are pretty much used to seeing it empty I have my couch over here right now, just pushed everything over because I want to clean my floors before I put down the rug. Um, the rug is over there in the corner. It's just getting easier to put this place together. So I also went to Walmart and I picked some tape up so that it can keep the, sorry, yeah, some rug gripper tape just so that I can keep it in place and not move. Um, but I'm gonna like clean the floor first. I recently picked up this thingy in reference, um, thanks, shout out to Ryan who told me like, hey, this is better than a Swiffer. So 
what I did not know, and I think you guys, you know, this is new to me. Typically, I'm so used to the old school mops, but I got this mop where it's kind of like a Swiffer, but it's not. It's called Cedar. Uh, what you gotta do is fill it up with water and put two tablespoons of soap in there. Um, the soap that I got was an all-purpose cleaner. I put some of this in here. Uh, Mr. Clean Gain, that's the brand that I decided to go with. It was about $7 and some change. This thing right here was like $20. So we'll see, I'm about to like get to town on this and see how it works. I haven't used one before, believe it or not. So today's the day. Now um, that the floor has you know, pretty much dried. What I'm gonna do is lay down the new rug. Um, I've noticed that the tape that I have, it's only for like a three by five rug, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna probably use the corners and probably some pieces in the middle um, to make sure it stays like straight and doesn't get off the floor, it doesn't move. But I'm hoping the rug keeps the couch from moving. So I've noticed like when people sit on it, it'll hit the wall a little bit and I have my, internet stuff behind the couch and I hope that doesn't get like damaged. I tried to move it to the opposite side of the wall, like over there um, on Sunday night, but that was a fail, so we ain't gonna do that. Um, eventually, I'm gonna be able to put up my curtains. I still haven't got no curtains yet. I gotta figure out the best ones that I want. Um, but I do know the height that I need for sure, so that's a good thing. So I'm gonna let you guys see me put the rug down and see how that goes. and this is how it looks. It's pretty soft, it feels pretty good. It's like a vintage um, ivory meets gray kind of color. Really cool tone to make sure it cools down the room. It feels a little big so far, but I'm gonna lay it down strategically and slide it over more, of course, and then tuck it underneath the, the um, I might try it a few different ways. I'm gonna try it the long way, and I'm gonna try it, of course, with the other way with the tucked under the couch for a little bit, but I think it should fit fine, because I definitely was measuring this a lot, but it's pretty, pretty big. I like it so far. This is how the rug feels and looks so far. It is gonna need to like set, of course, right now it has a little bit of wrinkles in it, um, but I'm gonna like tape it down as tight as I can to make sure like the wrinkles just set. So I'll probably take a few days, some wear on it to make sure it kind of just like sets and lays perfectly, but this is the vibe of the room so far. Um, it's a little long, I guess, but Maybe I got some taking, getting used to it for it, but as I put stuff in the middle, I think it'll make sense as time goes on. But it looks pretty cute in here. It's coming together. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far in here. Um, I'm happy. I just need to make sure this is like, of course, you know, over time, the wrinkles are gonna come out of the rug. But I think it fits pretty good. I'm getting used to it because I think it's just taking some getting used to. I love the mirror here. I love the relaxation vibes when you sit on the couch and you can see yourself and put your feet up. I think I'm gonna get this little cushion thing at Target today just so I can have something to put my feet up in here. And also for guests to put their feet up too. Um, just one of them, it's like $60. I don't wanna really spend that much, but it's like the perfect thing to go in here just to like, chill and vibe. Yeah, this is how it's looking. It's my little living room. And the dream is coming true. I think the curtains are really gonna help complete the room, for real, like once they're up and I order the ones that I really want. And eventually, of course, I'll get my ottoman to put in here, but I'm in no rush for the ottoman. It's gonna cost some coin for sure. But I want it to look like, I want it to be, I have to, I don't know, I feel like I have to find the right ottoman in person. What has me nervous about the ottoman is the fact that if I order it online, 
I'm a little nervous because measurements are everything, but it looks good. I like it. It makes the room feel like it's a section, like the living room is a section now. Like there's an area for my living room, so. I am very pleased with what I've chosen. And I guess I can add, I have um some, I have a throw I could throw in here. It's a red. So I guess I can add some color to the room. Super I'm always complaining I don't have any color in here, so it's like a red throw. Um, I might get myself a little basket, but this is how it looks so far in my living room. It's so cute. And eventually, I, like I said, I'm gonna add some pictures up here, some cute pictures. Um, just taking my time. That's not gonna be a rush. That's just an idea, but right now, the rug is set. Just make sure these, did I have an end over here? Oh, I gotta add one here um, for the corners. I know this corner has one. Um, I do wanna make sure the lines really settle. Like, so I'm gonna be tugging on this for some time. Um, but yeah, these corners are done. And by the way, I got this from Wayfair. It was on sale on Wayfair, but to be very honest guys, like what I didn't realize was that the same rug was available on Overstock. And when I checked Overstock, it was after I had already ordered my rug from Wayfair. Came really fast. I ordered it on Sunday night, got here by Tuesday. Really, 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 really fast. It came, didn't even take a full two days to be quite honest because it came so quick. But this rug has great reviews. I got an eight by 10 for my living room. Um, and on Wayfair, it was for 128 and I saw on Oversight.com it was only going for $100. So it was like 101 was the total. So if you guys are looking for this rug, definitely check Oversock. You can probably get it cheaper than I did. Um, I should have shopped around better, but I didn't. <laughs> I know people are probably like, 120 is not a big deal, you still did good. I know, but I like to save a coin whenever I can. Because these jobs out here, friends, not reliable, okay? So I got this little poof from Target not too long ago, and I actually really like it. And I'm testing out this little end table. I'm not sure if it's gonna stay or go, but it's just an idea. So I'm gonna do the end table. It's either gonna be gold or wood, that's my idea. But this poof right here, cause I don't have a like coffee table yet, and it looks a lot bigger than what it really is, but it's really just basically like a foot rest. So um, I thought of just adding some different in the room. So if anyone ever comes over, guest-wise, you know, put your feet up, relax, chill, you know. 